going on to that Almeida discussion, Benji, this is a topic that was requested of us yesterday, but my camera battery was running out. Patrick Lefebvre in the press. This is unbelievable to me, the timing of his statements, Benji. Before the Giro starts, <laughs> he's in the press saying that Almeida is definitely leaving, that Almeida's manager is being unreasonable and disrespectful in negotiations and they want Almeida to, to stay, but it's out of his hands and they're not being realistic and Almeida's gone for 2022. This is before, the day before the Giro starts where for the two weeks beforehand in every interview, Remco and Lefebvre are like, Remco's just here to ride for Joao. He's there just riding for Almeida. And then the day before, they're like, fuck that, Almeida's gone. And we were like, what? How, this poor guy, he's 22 years old. Like, it must be tough seeing that in the press. Uh, so first of all, Benji, are you surprised purely from a human resources perspective that Quickstep don't really want to pay the big bucks for Almeida to extend for three, four years? I think that that's the thing that the Koenig has been doing for years to a lot of their talent. It's The Koenig is not known to be the all-paying team that gives top money every single time that a rider exceeds a certain amount except for being their top riders like Tom Bonin in the past or in Avenipool in the future because let's be real because he's Belgian he's gonna get an advantage on the other potential GC riders on the team I think that largely plays here as well but I think that Almeida is not necessarily a rider that is 100% necessary for the team for next year but I think that he's very valuable, though. And that's where you need to find uh, the perfect balance in what you want to spend on a rider. And I think that the Koenig has significant issue for next year. We said it in the past already. 90% of their riders were out of contract at the start of the season. They re-signed Evenepoel, Alaphilippe, and uh, Osgren so far. So that's three, I think four or five in total that they have right now actually signed, which means that they need to get to around 30. And they're not close to that, I can tell you. So... I think that signing Almeida for a large prize now might mean that they aren't able to afford a lot of the riders that are perhaps the outsiders on the team right now that have the possibility of growing true to a better rider in the future. And I think Almeida is at a point where he's... Ah, I'm not sure Almeida has sh- a lot he's of a- potential to grow anymore. I he's think that he can get better. Yeah, true. But on the other hand, he's going to win a race eventually. I think that he's not going to be like Kellerman, who after uh, X amount of years does not have the victory that he's looking for. But I Why think not? I think that Almeida has more opportunities. I think Almeida has a better punch than Kellerman. I think that Almeida f- has a better time trial. Definitely better so TT. Definitely. In, in stages, in, in the smaller stage race, he's going to get the opportunity to win sta- time trials at certain points in his career. I think that He's arguably a more consistent rider in the climbing because we don't know this so far, but Kellerman has a lot of bad luck, obviously. And he also crashed a lot next to that. Not sure if that's all bad luck or if that's uh, other influences from his end. So looking at Almeida, we haven't really seen that too much. I don't even remember Almeida crashing. So he paces I the can't tell you. Already he paces them exactly like Thomas at 22. It's incredible. Yeah, he's like... He's yeah. like a better version of Jungles when he was a climber. That's a good example. I, I just, I think his flat sprints a little bit overrated at this point. Yeah. I feel like people mm-hmm. think, oh, he's like in a reduced group. He's yeah, yeah. almost like Roglic and Pogaccia. Sort of. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't see that to be honest. Um, but he, he's a fantastic rider. Both. Well, I, I don't want to speak for Benji. I personally thought he should have gone to the Tour. But the problem is he's on a team with Al Philippe and Bennett. So you've yep. got a guy going for stages and wearing the yellow jersey and doing all the Al Philippe things. You've got Bennett going for stage wins too. So there's no space for him there. That being said, I thought, take it. The guy can look after himself. His TT is dominant. I know sometimes I'll be like, oh, going for top 10 on GC, eighth position, waste of time. Not if you're 22 years old in the Tour de France. Going for fifth on GC, that's important and serious. And being in the top GC group up there every day, it's big exposure. And every day, like, people are like, oh, Landa got fourth in the Tour last year. Well, for the whole Tour, 
he was right there, not that far behind Roglic. He's in Group 1 until the last 30 seconds every day, and then they do the mountain sprint. It's the same exposure almost, except for not, you know, not winning the stages. So I think they should have taken Almeida to the Tour. His TT is great. He's climbing on the not-so-steep, not-so... Yeah, not-so-steep stuff is great too, or good, good enough. And um, I am also, to play devil's advocate though, if you're Patrick Lefebvre, you get Almeida's agent and you got to take it with a grain of salt when Lefebvre says. I mean, yeah. when, has he ever, when has he ever said his agent came to me and you know what? His offer was completely reasonable. <laughs> he's literally, <laughs> he's literally never said. Every time he said his agent came to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, and he asked me to give Joao Almeida twenty five million euro per month. <laughs> like that's what he says in the press. And I do think the agent probably said twenty two years old. He's going to win the tour. You should give him seven figures. Look at what he or she got. But he or she nearly won a monument. He or she won flesh. He or she won two Tour de France stages. Yes, Almeida was in pink for like 14, 15 days. But as I said, he hasn't won a race. So if you're Lefebvre, you're saying, hey, i got rental. I'm good. I don't I don't need a guy who's the same TT, worse climbing and less expo- you know, sponsor exposure. I've got Remco in five years. And Joa, I'll give you I'll give you four hundred K a year, probably less than that, to pace Remco on the climbs at the Grand Tours, and maybe you get a chance at your own one-week races. Are you happy with that? And if I'm Almeida, I say, no way. I want to go for the tour yeah. leadership. So it, it's just, as Benji said at the top, it's, it's just cool. two, it's two groups who both have are on different directions. It doesn't really make sense for them to stay together in our view. So talking about that, Benji, you think it's a done deal he's gone? Yeah, I <clears> think Almeida. it's a done deal he's gone. I think where. Well, Where's he going? He, well, first of all, I think w- I think we mentioned it in the past already when we were talking about it, uh, that we were going over the riders of the Koenig and looking at who could go. And I think Almeida is the rider that would not get the opportunities that he wants nor money that he wants in this team in the future. Yeah. And deserves, therefore, he deserves indeed, leadership. And he deserves more money than he could get at the Koenig, to be honest. For sure. If you look at the amount of money that people get in cycling these days, then... I don't know. I'd expect to get seven million if I'm Nomada. I'll get a team that pays that to me. Like <laughs> seven, seven million. Generally. They can't. Pagach is on five. No, seven, uh, seven figures. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> seven figures. Jesus. <laughs> Benji, no one ever. Benji wants to get a job as an intern DS somewhere. Jesus, bankrupt <laughs> in two weeks. I mean, seven I figures. Agree. Sorry. I think Lefebvre wants them to earn it through bonuses, but the thing is Almeida doesn't win a lot of races. He's the type of guy who probably yep. will podium a grand tour without maybe winning a stage or winning one. I like him at EF. Uran is aging out. Maybe that budget, that salary is coming off the books soon. I think Carthy is not the guy for a TT heavy tour. They got Guerrero, who loved working for Almeida last year in the Giro. <laughs> no, seriously. They got the You're Portuguese right. combo there. <laughs> I think EF is a really, really good fit for Almeida. Um, and they've got the funky kids. I can't afford him. You don't think? Uran I don't think they can getting, afford him. Uran is surely getting paid a fair bit. Yeah, but the amount of competition they have, UAE, Bora, these teams have so much money these days. They're going to throw it at him. Like He's talented. He's young. He's got a future. Whatever team he goes to, he's going to bring victory. No, perhaps not victories. But I think a few victories, yes and podiums on, on proper races. And I think that he was close to winning that. Was it Emilia or some other uh, Italian Emilia. classic Emilia. last year? So, uh, yeah, certainly uh, certainly can win stuff in the future. And he just, he's just he got so much potential. Uh, I think that why would my UAE honest sign opinion... Him? Well, why would UAE sign him? I don't see it. Well, they, they I- signed uh, Micah, so... Might as well throw money at Almeida. Yeah, but Micah got signed to ride in front of Pagacha in France in July, I think. Yeah, as fourth rider ahead of him, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bora is the perfect fit if I'm Almeida because Bookman, the TT, isn't looking great. I think Bookman can't. It doesn't look like mm-hmm. it's Rob yeah. Pog. His peak is not aligning with them in like a Tour de France scenario unless it was a weird parkour, weird year. 2019, he got close, granted, but I don't see it for Bookman. Almeida's got the TT. 
I know they've got Kelderman, but do they really like? Do you want to hinge your GC hopes, Benji, for the next three years on Buchmann, Kelderman, and Kemner for the tour with yeah, Sagan maybe leaving? I agree. I agree with you. It's a good team to go to. But the problem is that Bora has been in every single transfer rumor the entire year. <laughs> yeah. Sagan well, leaving. Sagan's leaving. Stolsa joining, for example. All that stuff. Like what? Well, nothing is confirmed so stuff. far, but. Almeida yeah. would definitely fit there, and I think that I'd like it if Almeida would be there. But I don't know. It's sometimes it just feels a tiny bit off. Perhaps is because he hasn't ridden outside of the Koenig properly yet, and maybe that's why I'm like linking him too much to that team. That I find it hard to see him ride for a different team. That happens a lot, I think, when riders are going away from their or arguably one of their first teams in their career, but. Yeah, I think Bora might be a good fit. I think that um, how, which other teams may have money these days? Bahrain has has money, but they've got Israel, Start of Bilbao and Landa. Start Nation, but oh, they're spending so much money on so many people that it's... Well, Almeida doesn't give sponsorship value to the country of Israel, so it's unlikely. Okay, that's enough on Almeida. Let us know who you think should sign him down below in the comments or tweet at us hashtag lrcp i think he'd be a valuable addition in the tour de france squad in a 60k tt sort of normal parkour on just about any team except for yumbo visma uae and quick w52 porto yep i mean win the algarve win tour of portugal win the tour portugal goes crazy